I am sick and tired of this game. It's been a week since I did a video, and I'm about to tell you guys why it's been that long. For one, last week I decided to go ahead and uh, use that Lubu I got and the extra leftover freaking Wukong I got. I got a goddamn motherfucking ace. Another one. Why? I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. First time I got a Wukong, next time I get an ace. If I do it again, I'll get another ace. Because guess what? Netrolba hates me. Okay. Let's check out my arena. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's nice. 56% win rate in crystal. How? Wanna know why? Because you get little pussies who are level 30. Level 30 Rin, level 30 Karma, level 30 Tail. Who are just as good as me, maybe even better, and beat me. Explain that there, Marble. And they don't even have a Pascal on their team. Oh, I wonder why. They get every single hit they need. You have Tail here, here who likes to use Talon Strike. Got Spike here who likes to use his retarded moves when they're pointless. You got Ace here who likes to use a single target for no apparent reason. Karma here who actually does something very rarely. Why? I don't know. Pascal uses his 5 AoE protection. What, what does Rin do? She uses her 5 AoE attack that has no piercing. No surprise. Explain that to me, Netmarble. I'm done. I, I can't support Netmarble anymore after all this crap they put upon us players. My guild, I've been asking all around my guild and putting this all around my, my guild mates, my you uh, subscribers I even have that discord chat I talked to you guys you guys understand you guys are pissed off just as pissed off as I am maybe even more <sighs> you can't tell me that Nightmarble is ignorant and stupid for putting two meta heroes in a matter of one week they put a karma and a freaking Pascal right next to each other. You guys could have left Karma or Pascal as how he was in Korean. But no, I understand you guys want to be different, and that's fine. But you don't put Pascal. You, you Wait. He's, n he's not even in the codex in order to be obtainable. You you don't do that bullshit. Nah, I don't care about the collaborations. He's not even obtainable. You can't even get him. Why release him? That's stupid. Wait till you release him when you release the second part of Area 11. No. You change the meta so fast that the only people who actually progress now in the arena are the whales and the people who spend money. As whales spend money, same damn thing, same difference. Or the people who have their maxed out masteries, which are not me. Yeah, me who've been playing since day one, and I'm getting screwed over hardcore in Crystal League. Crystal League is... It was probably the easiest league for me to surpass to get the Expert League. And now you're telling me that it's the hardest league for me to go to. And you're telling me that I have a chance to go back down to freaking Diamond. And this team is Diamond worthy? No, that's bullshit. I'm expert worthy. Many other players who are in Crystal are freaking expert worthy too. Let's look at Wolf. He is definitely expert worthy. He has got a 34 Rain, a 38 Pascal, 40 Wukong, 36 Spike. What the hell? Uh, another good example. Platy. Yep, he's a nice player. 30 Ren, 40 Pascal, 30 Takarma. What the hell, Netmarble? Let's go down to a lower player. Uh, Rush. Okay. Let's look at his team real quick. First of all, he has terrible RNG. Netmarble screws him so hard with the butt that he can't even feel his asshole anymore. The only thing he has is two Wukongs and a 34 ace. Really? <laughs> Why? Oh, let's do a battle real quick. Let's see how the RNG is. Oh, look. Sarah, that's great. Watch now that I'm recording, guys won't see the BS that happens. Okay, let's see here. Oh, wow, I actually outsped. Wow. But guess who I'm targeting? Tail. For no reason. Look at that. Talon Strike. When according to... Statistics, Rin should have used her Dragon's Descent move due to her lethal rate. Okay. Mm-hmm. Keep the... Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Why would you use that move? Oh, yeah. The lethal. Great. Waste. Oh, would you look at that? That's a 10% except... That is a 10% chance to stun accessory. You're telling me this game. It, 
This is retarded. Why? Explain this bullshit to me. 32 tail, 32 rent, 32 karma. What the actual fuck? Tail's doing all the shit just by himself. This is bullshit. I'm not gonna win. If I do, then I don't know what the hell happened to me. Tail just got drugged up or some bullshit. Oh, no. there goes that. Yep. Or 20 speed attacks. Yep, yep. Look at time destruction and it'll just freaking rape my ass. Hold up, it's coming. Yep, nope, nope, not yet. Oh, there you go. There goes my turn. I'm not. I, do, fuck you. This is. <sighs> fuck! It's fucking stupid. This is bullshit. It's Crystal League. Crystal League. This is... I hate this damn game. I... <laughs> okay, so, last week, well, actually, two months ago, I offered up my account to be sold. I went, if you type in Deadly 7 k in Google, you'll see that there is an account on some Seven Nights Trading selling, I don't know what the hell it is, stupid ass forum. You can find that I actually made my, uh, offered up my account, but not really officially because I didn't necessarily put it up there. Um, then this week I actually talked to the chat and I actually said, who wants to buy my shitty ass account? And right now that offer is still up, <laughs> for real, who wants to buy this stupid ass account? <sighs> Global server. I contacted Netmarble last week. Let me go on here real quick. They told me that players are treated equally. I saw so that's what they said, but I don't believe them for a second that they said it. Treat players equally, my ass. You don't freaking do that. You're telling me you get some dumbass level 14 bitch. Let me get it. Level 14 asshole. Uh, God damn it all. Let me scroll up. This ass wipe. You have a 30 tail, a 30 karma. What the hell? You're level 14. You've been playing for maybe a week. Let's go on an adventure. And no, that's that's bullshit. You don't play that kind of shit on the internet, Marvel. You don't play that shit on anybody. You don't just do that. <sighs> Okay, this guy's a bitch, so screw that person. So, I talked Netmarble based off of, um, God, I said a lot. Okay, so I told him I love this game, which technically I do, but I'm really I'm really pissed off at this game right now. So I said, this game happens to favor, I'm going to shorten it down, I'm not going to read the whole thing, that takes me like 15 minutes. This game happens to be favor that we common players, uh, the common players that we call whales, aka the developer's salary, literally, uh, they can spend hundreds a week and receive anything they want, while some free-to-play players are stuck getting lucky maybe every once, every two to three months. And they said, that's fair, or we treat players fairly. No, you don't. And I'm talking about the four lower drop rates. I'm not talking about seven nights or any of that bullshit. I said, and I even said I contacted them multiple times, which I have done, and they said that players are always treated fairly, and that's false. I know it's false. Um, the drop rate is too low. There have been rumors and speculations that the drop rate was 0 0.005 and went up to 0 0.007. They told me that that's false and don't believe that. So I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. Um, I said in Global Chat 1, which is true, 
this bitch face. This guy's an absolute whale. That's already been proven. He's always in global chat one. He's spending Ruby like crazy saying, Oh, I got an extra tail. I don't give a shit, you whale. And they could spend one summon and they can have a tail just like that. And it's me who spends 10k and I don't get shit. I'm actually at 15k summons now. 15k Ruby summons. Yeah, that's that's great. Nothing. And we have other players that farm like crazy during their daytime and get nothing and absolutely nothing. Not even a nice uncommon for a start help complete the seven night puzzle. They just get nothing. Repeats. And now I go off to talk about RNG, which I talk about how servers have speculations of RNG pulls for for lords. I talk about veterans and noobs. This is what I really want to pressure them on. I talked about the event and I said, "How do you think it's fair over the fact that veterans have been playing since day one, waiting for this one year anniversary since like the game came out, and you get noobs who join, you get the exact same reward." You can get a day one player on the first year anniversary, and they get two four lord selectors, just like how veterans got when they've been waiting an entire year for that. Bullshit. You don't do that. No, they don't deserve anything. They haven't been playing for at least even on two months. They don't deserve it. That's no. And instead, they get a random friend, tail, or karma from a three to six star ticket, just like nothing. Alright. Yeah, then they just said, I understand your frustration with the four lord drop rate. However, I assure you it is random and we can say that's all based on RNG. No shit, that's the point I was trying to get to. I mean, I, also, I do appreciate the fact that it's not robots replying to you, it's an actual people, so you know they have a heart. Like this person I talked to who's actually being friendly to me, so I do appreciate whoever that was. Um. They were saying that channels are basically just a ritual. Uh, they said they had those rituals as well. So again, I like how it's ha uh, you know a personal conversation with another person. Oh, here we go. Most of veteran players think that new players will get more good stuff, or good heroes because they are new players and veterans are not. We treat our players equally, and all of our and all of you are precious to us. I hope all of our veterans won't feel this way. Well, in the first place, you guys are, were the reason why Seven Nights grew, and we, we, and we sincerely thank you all for that. For me, I don't think it's an act of selfishness. That was, that was, yeah. You're just expressing your thoughts throughout your experience. Think things like bad luck, and I completely understand that. Blah 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 blah. blah. So we did address the veteran thing, and there's your answer there, guys. They understand that we're upset about it, but then they say. That they are, we are all treated equally. Even though as veterans, as he even said himself, he, she said, we started them up. We veterans are the ones who brought the game up and brought up popularity. And what do you know? We are still aren't treated as equal. So if any Netmarble representative is watching this, I'm not trying to bash Seven Nights. I'm just trying to let people know what's going on in the game. I, I love the game, but right now, I hate this game so much. I don't even care to play it. I'm actually like, my account's technically up for sale right now. <laughs> uh, no. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I just wanted to let you guys know about that. But if any videos come out this week, it's definitely not going to be Seven Nights. It's going to be something else. I don't know. I don't know what. It'll be something. I don't know. I don't care. I got other things to worry about. I got three tests I need to decipher right now, but here am I making a freaking video. So, yeah. All right, stay up to date with our Twitter and our uh, Facebook. Mostly Twitter because I'm more active on Twitter now. If you guys are watching, tell me how you guys feel about this. <laughs> I express how I feel. I even have more than I need to say, but I don't want to make this video long and boring. That's how I feel with this. It's nerve wracking. You, the, you, you know, something screwed up with a game. If you get stressed out, and it's honestly making you get worse at your schoolwork, you know something's not right. <sighs> yeah. So that's it. See you guys in the next video.